really happy with the 2023 Gallagher Chiefs squad. Um, I think the, the key feature is really its continuity. So you know, we've got a young squad and I think we've only brought in four or five new players, which is fairly uncommon at the Chiefs over the last few years. So the fact that we've got a lot of continuity and building some great cohesion um, in the squad and yeah, a number of those young guys that are, you know, were 21, 22, have now got th three or four campaigns under their belt and I think that puts us in, in really good stead. Let's just start with the outside backs, um, the signing of um, Peniasi Mali Mali, um, Nani Punivai and the return of Damian McKenzie, uh, we think really strengthens our outside backs. You know, we think that these guys in particular bring something different to our squad, Peniasi and, and Nani. Um, are sort of your, your power athletes um, and Damien is, you know, his, his sort of record in Chiefs jersey um, speaks for itself um, and we feel like those three complement the other, uh, other members of our squad who have got a lot of speed and X factor so it's an exciting mix. Um, Jared Prophet up, up front, uh, Jared come in as a replacement player to the Chiefs um, last year and really impressed with his his competitiveness um, and he's taken that on to NPC where I think he's been a standout performer for Taranaki although he comes in as the least experienced super rugby player um, he isn't the youngest but he's also not the type of person who's just going to sit back and accept that um, you know he's just here to make up numbers I, I imagine he's going to push hard for a spot. Um, Manaki Selby Rickett um, who's come up from the, the Highlanders a lot has probably been made of the fact that we've got a lot of um, locks in our in our roster and we're, we're adding another one. Um, so just give some context around that. Firstly, Manaki I think is a great player and when he came on the market, I think you know you really have to stop and consider um, whether you know, you're, you're happy to let a player of that quality slip by, by when you have an opportunity to grab them. Um, so, we, so we did that, but there was you know some reasons behind it, obviously. Uh, Josh Lord, great young prospect, all black. He's not due to return until week six of the competition after his ACL injury with the All Blacks earlier this year. Um, we'll need to manage, you know, Brody and Tupo, who are all black locks in a World Cup year. Um, in in um, Lachlan McConnell, you know, he's played some outstanding rugby for Waikato, but he's had, you know, an unfortunate run of injuries over the last two or three years that he's been in the Chiefs. So we see this as a way of kind of giving us a little bit of insurance, but also protecting ourselves uh, in, in the locking space moving forward with the anticipation that Brodie will probably move move on after the Rugby World Cup. Um, finding too many locks, ones with experience and the sort of talent that Monarchy has doesn't come, a, come around too often, so we grab that with both hands. Yeah, look, getting Damien back is, is massive for the Chiefs. He's, a fan favourite and certainly a, a popular um, member amongst um, both you know, management coaches and, and the players. Um, you know, my recent memories in my first year as um, the head coach of the Gallagher Chiefs where Damien was sort of right at the centre of some you know, pretty um, heart-stopping moments where he stood up and he kicked some pivotal goals that you know, um, effectively pushed us through um, to the Super Rugby Aotearoa final as it was then a couple of years ago. Um, lives, certainly lives in my memory. Um, you know, he's a quality footballer who not only makes things happen for himself but makes others around him look better too. And so, um, you know, we look forward to injecting him. Um, no hard and fast decisions around his position. Um, we obviously know he's more than capable at both first five and full back. Um, and I'm sure he'll feature on both jerseys at some stage this year. Um, I thought Etzini was probably the standout performer of the NPC in the early rounds. Really electric, played at fullback a little bit. Um, great left boot um, and, and an abundance of X factor. So he's back looking fit and fast again. So um, you know, really hopeful that he's going to have a, a real breakout season. He's been in the team for two or three years now and sob opportunity for him to really step up. Just in terms of captaincy, um, at this stage we, we haven't named captains. Um, Brad Webber and Sam Kane have done a, a marvellous job over the last two years, um, but they've got campaigns to think about um, with the All Blacks. Obviously Sam has been under the spotlight, particularly early on when 
you know, those guys face some real challenges and I don't see any need at this stage um, in October to be putting any more pressure on them and just want them to go away and enjoy uh, their tour and we'll connect in early on in the new year and we'll make decisions around who's going to lead this team for 2023. So that's it, a pretty well-rounded team, a lot of um, co continuity and, as I said, cohesion and really, really looking forward to rolling up the sleeves and getting into some pre-season work and then, um, you know, giving the competition a real shake in 2023.